Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Rain Day from Derek Lamb. If you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance and if it's worth picking up, then keep watching. Now, for transparency purposes, my mother gave me this. She was using it a bunch and she thought it would smell really nice on me, so she gave it to me. I think she bought a bigger bottle of it. This is one I've sampled in the past, so I do have a lot of experience with this scent. And I want to review more Derek Glam scents for you guys because they're ones that I'm really impressed with. I actually really enjoy their fragrances. So this particular fragrance is a, an aquatic fresh fragrance and it's really strong with vetiver and neroli. That's like predominantly what this scent is. What I like about Derek Lamb scents is that they're somewhat minimalistic. There's not a crazy lot of notes going on, but it does what it's supposed to do really well. And there, I have pros and cons with Rain Day, but overall, as an aquatic, fresh scent, I really love the added note of vetiver in there. It gives a little bit of a grassiness. It kind of gives it a little bit more depth. At the same time, you don't lose any of that just like beautiful freshness, but it's not a freshness that's sweet. It's kind of like almost, I wouldn't say it's a salty freshness, but it does kind of smell because of the grassiness and the dryness of the vetiver. It kind of mimics somewhat of a salty scent. I really enjoy this fragrance. What I love most about this scent is the fact that it stays on my skin and it's pretty linear. I was worried when I tried the scent initially when I sampled it that the neroli would become a little bit too strong and overpower the vetiver. And the reason why I didn't want that even though I love neroli is the fact that the combination between these two is really just beautifully well matched. You've got the grassiness, you've got this beautiful floral note, and it just comes together really beautifully. It reminds me a lot of the balance in Silent Street, which I really love, as you guys know, which is kind of like a uh, white musk and a like almost like a watery floral chord, and those come together really well. It's one note, it's very linear, it doesn't have a lot of dimension, but it's still a really beautiful and wearable scent, and I have to say that Rain Day is the same. I love wearing the scent. I've been playing around with layering it with other things and generally overall I think it is a substantial scent from Derek Lamb, especially if you like fresh fragrances but you want something with a little bit more of a different take but it's still wearable and easy to comprehend. The composition is really easy to understand. You can wear it casually during the daytime and depending on where you're going at night, I think because of that grassiness with the vetiver, you'll have to excuse my cats, I think it could also work really well for not super formal occasions but certain evening occasions too as well, specifically in the summer. Now, where I have to dox this point has to do with longevity and projection. This does not have good longevity on my skin, nor does it have good projection. Some people do not mind scents that are a little bit more intimate, a little bit more closer to the skin. I do not mind that, but when it comes down to fresh aquatic scents, I kind of want them to project more. It's one of the scents I want people to kind of experience around me because I think they're really beautiful and I think people really like it. So I'm gonna have to dock at a few points. For projection, longevity is kind of a joke. It's like two hours if I'm lucky. So this does not have very good longevity. I actually like to layer this with uh, Eccentric Molecules, Molecule One. Those go together really beautifully and it kind of makes it last longer. And it's, I'm gonna do a whole video on that coming up, more layering videos you guys want. I'm gonna talk about that, but I do have to say this fragrance just on its own does not last a long time. So longevity, projection, performance, all that jazz, not too good, but smell wise, wearability, just being really refreshing and beautiful and unique, uh, easy to wear, all that jazz, fantastic scent. I have this size bottle. I probably would end up purchasing a full size bottle in the future because I do really love this scent. So it is something I have my eyes on if I ever come across a bottle. In any case, guys, I would love to know what you guys think of Rain Day from Derek Lamb. Have you tried it? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you get a better performance? Do you get less performance? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know what you guys think. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. If you like these videos, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I love seeing this channel grow. And I'll also see you next time.